No, Donald. President Trump is calling for a $54 billion increase in the military budget, provided by cutting discretionary programs elsewhere. Democrats say the defense budget is already bloated and doesn't need any more money, but at least one Republican lawmaker says $54 billion? That's not nearly enough. Armed Services Chairman Mac Thornberry wants a budget increase of $91 billion to cover military readiness, maintenance, and training, which he says atrophied under the Obama administration. So, should we slim down the military or beef up the cash stash? Here to weigh in, it's Pete Hexeth, Army veteran from Iraq and Afghanistan. He's not from there, but that's where he fought. He's also a Fox News contributor. Welcome back, Pete. Thank you. It's our favorite subject. We have so much overlap it is. because I just think that the military is a hungry beast and we should just keep feeding it. It'll make it much more efficient. <laughs> All right, I, you, I believe we can do both. So I'm with Mac Thornberry and John McCain. I think the increase should be even larger because of how, how gutted our military has been. However, you and I both agree uh, the waste, the acquisitions, the, 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 the way that the Pentagon spends money is abysmal. It's, it, is a, it is a dysfunctional bureaucracy in so many different ways. There's a lot of money that goes down rat holes. It's yeah. only going to be hawks. They're big rat holes. It's only going to be defense. Like big ones, big, big, massive big, ones. Big, stinking rat holes, Pete. <laughs> Where money goes and never comes back. But it's going to be hawks. It has yeah. to be hawks, like McCain and Thornberry, that are going to do that kind of reform. Otherwise, they'll resist it. And both chairmen have said that they're committed to acquisitions and personnel reform, deep ones that the industries won't like, in exchange for additional funding to make sure that we modernize, I, yeah, that and we I, train, I understand that, I actually, that we rebuild. I yes, think we can I, do both. I agree. I, I agree with you there. We have to modernize the military. Because, you know, we've talked about on this program a lot of times, and you've heard it in a lot of places. Uh, we're still fighting this sort of outdated pre Cold War model that uh, helped us to victory, certainly in World War II. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it is inefficient in this day and age, and, you know, obviously that needs to be reassessed. It doesn't all happen at once. I also agree with Senator McCain that the F 35 program is going to cost a lot more than the projected $400 billion budget. The president oh, said yeah. that he has intervened to lessen that burden, but you still have the, the Raytheon GPS-led missile system uh, that's 25% sure. over budget and five years late. And, and there are a number of projects just like that, not to mention the $125 billion that the Pentagon says, after their own internal inquiry, uh, completely mm -hmm. wasted. We could go on and on and on. So I, you're not mm. going to get any disagreement here. But but the de what what the president has done, president what President Obama did to this military over eight years is is truly hollow it out and decimate it. Rebuilding that requires a big down payment up front, so you can restart uh, the rebuilding of ships. You can provide the supplies that and and maintenance to the to old aircraft that are not being properly maintained. You can start to rebuild some of these brigade combat teams that are literally hollow. You can provide the training that hasn't been happening, the flight hours that have not been happening. Yeah. All that requires requires resources, and then you've got to chip away at all the inefficiencies and utter waste. Uh, and it's not just a ta that's not just a tagline to, to viewers out there. There are real processes, red tape that can be slashed, so putting accountability into the service chiefs uh, so that they're accountable for the projects in ways that you could save a lot of money and make sure the dollars we're using are, are, are go to the right See, place. See, I, I guess that that's my question is, why aren't you shifting the money? Why are you just asking for more money? Because you are feeding the beast at that point, and you are appeasing and, appeasing rather, and justifying a system that in many ways is broken, and all of that breakage doesn't add up to what you're saying we need, which is military readiness and technology, and, and all that because, other because stuff takes away from it, so just fix all this stuff, close some of the bases, sorry, and, and make the shift so we have the, the finest, readiest, handsomest military in the world. Well, and, say, and, and look at TRICARE premiums, which have been artificially kept so low that our health care system in the military is, is, is unsustainable. I mean, yeah. we're going to become a, Pentagon's going to become a health care provider that also fights wars. I mean, that's what we're looking at. Uh, but the problem is the world doesn't go away, Kennedy. The threats that are, that are, that are present today are even, are, the world is even more chaotic than it was uh, when, when Barack Obama left office, and that's yeah. a result of weak policy. So you've got to fund it and fix it at the same time. And I think uh, President Trump's number, while a good increase, is only 3% above what, what actually occurred when you add OCO funds on top of sequestration. What McCain and Thornberry are talking about is a 10% increase. And I think if you do acquisitions reform and personnel reform properly, you can find a lot of savings over, the, over say, the first term of the, of the uh, Trump No, I understand. You, you want to buy the, the fat person who became slim a new wardrobe. What I'm saying is take the, <laughs> yeah. the, the old uh, dress 
and pare it down a little bit and use the rest of the, of the material to make uh, mittens and a scarf. Okay, if our we we got to make sure our guys have mittens and scarves and machine guns and modern airplanes and boats. <laughs> Buy our machine gun. And It'll brigades. be sexy. All right, Pete Hexa, thanks yes. so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.